Inside the AHSA, your weekly look at Alabama high school athletics with your host, Luke Robinson. Brought to you by TeamIP.com, AL.com, Encore Rehabilitation, Alpha Insurance, Wilson, South Point Bank, Russell Athletic, and Coca-Cola. Welcome to the Alabama High School Athletic Association's weekly update, heard exclusively on the AHSAA radio network. I'm Luke Robinson, and I'll be bringing you this week's top stories from the AHSAA. The summer break is finally over for AHSAA schools, but that's old news to many high school football, volleyball, cross country, and swimming teams that have begun practice already. The high school football season will kick off officially the weekend of August 25th through the 27th with more than 200 games. There is one exciting doubleheader we'll talk about in just a moment. But first, the season kicks off unofficially with the 6th Annual AL.com Champions Challenge Football Classic August 19th through the 20th. The Alabama High School Athletic Directors and Coaches Association host the three-game event at newly renovated Crampton Bowl in Montgomery. The preseason classic, which does not count on any of the school's season records, kicks off on Friday night, August 19th, with Class 4A defending state champ Thomasville facing Class 5A powerhouse Hueytown at 7 p.m. The Tigers open the year with AHSA's longest current winning streak at 15 games, a distinction shared with Class 3A defending state champ Leeds and 6A defending state champion Daphne, which takes on a powerful clay chalk bowl in the final game of the Champions Challenge on Saturday night at 7.30. Defending 1A state champion Sweetwater meets 2010 Class 3A runner-up Hamilton in the first game at Crampton Bowl on Saturday, August 20th at 5 p.m. Coach Jack Hankins Tigers smashed pretty much every Super 6 offensive record in its 58-34 win over Deschler at Auburn's Jordan-Hare Stadium last December. Returning for his senior year to lead this year's team is Alabama commitment Tyler Hayes, a linebacker slash running back who led the team in tackles last year. The Tigers' defense will have their hands full trying to hem in Hueytown quarterback Jameis Winston, a strapping 6'4 senior who is one of the nation's top quarterback prospects. Winston has already committed to Florida State. The AL.com Champions Challenge will be broadcast live over the AHSA radio network and can be found on several stations across the state. can also be heard on www.ahsa.com or al.com. The three games will also be televised live by Raycom and can be found at www.theahsanetwork.com backslash browse backslash upcoming. We'll be back with more Inside the AHSAA in just a moment. Style points don't show up in the box score. Talking a good game has never won a championship. And we're sorry to break it to you. It's not the shoes. It's the work, the pride, the blood, and the tears. Because Russell's wicking sweat out of the equation. Russell dry power, moisture, wicking tees and fleece. The next evolution in over 100 years of raw performance. Hoover and Prattville High Schools have been two of the most dominant football prep football teams in the nation in the last 10 years. The pair have also met in the AHSA Class 6A State Finals four times during that span. On Saturday, August 27th, however, the two rivals will partner to bring the nation's spotlight on our state's proud prep football tradition. The two juggernauts will be the host teams in a live, nationally televised ESPN prep doubleheader at Hoover's High Schools at Hoover High School's on-campus football stadium. Don't expect the Lions and Bucks to be favorites, however. Prattville kicks off the day with an 11 a.m. kickoff against St. Thomas Aquinas, a private Catholic school located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Founded in 1936, St. Thomas has a long-standing heritage in both academics and athletics. Coach Rocco Carullo's Raiders, ranked fourth nationally in the 2011 preseason rankings, are coming off a 14-0 season and the Florida 5A state championship. St. Aquinas has won 93 of its last 100 games and 56 of its last 58 with state titles in 2010 and 2008. Prattville, ranked Ranked sixth, reached the 6A finals in 2004, 06, 07, 08, and 09 with state titles three times. Prattville had a winning streak of 30 in a row during that stretch with 87 wins and just 10 losses. From 04 to 08, the Lions are 67 and 3. Hoover closes the twin bill at 2:30 with a much anticipated battle with 12th ranked South Panola, Mississippi. New head coach Matthew Mock brings in a team that has won its last 27 games in a row, 116 of its last 118, and seven of the last eight Mississippi 
Mississippi Big School state titles. The Tigers posted five straight perfect 15-0 seasons from 2003 to 2007 en route to state titles in Mississippi. Hoover's decade of excellence is also impressive. The Bucks have reached the 6A finals every year but one since 2000 with championships in 2000, 02, 03, 04, 05, and 09. Last year's team lost to Daphne in the finals 7-6. Hoover has won 91 games since 2003 including 41 of its last 45. Remember as a kid playing touch football in the streets until the lights came on? Or pick up basketball in the driveway under the house lights? High school sports have always been an important part of our communities here in Alabama. So know that when you come to South Point Bank for the purchase or refinance of your home, we'll be there from the time your children play under the backyard lights till they're showcasing their talent under Friday night lights. South Point Bank, proud corporate sponsor of the AHSAA, member FDIC, equal housing lender. And finally, schools need to remember the heat precautions they need to follow in practice and in games. According to NFHS rules, game officials may grant a heat timeout any time during the contest when it is warranted. As a matter of procedure, the AHSA instructs the referee to make this decision. The AHSA will mandate the heat timeouts being called during the first dead ball period after the six minute mark in each of the four periods. These mandated heat timeouts will be used during the first three weeks of the season and may be extended if the conditions warrant it. The AHSA's website has several guidelines and other tips for health safety concerning heat that can be useful to coaches in all sports. Until next week, this is Luke Robinson saying thanks for joining us on Inside the AHSA.